Our Republic stands at a critical juncture. In a decisive move to ensure public health, the governing authority has ordered the demolition of the numerous pump jacks that have been polluting our air and land. This bold action has plunged us into crisis mode as we work to restore our environment and protect our citizens. Separately, the authority has also embarked on an ambitious project to construct a massive new housing complex. This development is part of our strategic preparations for the upcoming construction of our Republic's first coal mine and processing plant. The housing complex is designed to provide safe, modern living spaces for the influx of workers and their families who will support this significant industrial expansion. Governor Brav of Bravoslav stated, our commitment to the health and prosperity of our citizens is unwavering. By eliminating the harmful pump jacks, advancing our housing project, and developing our own gravel supply, we are paving the way for a brighter, cleaner, and more prosperous future. The coal mine promises economic growth and energy security, but it also necessitates careful planning and robust infrastructure to mitigate environmental impact. As we navigate this pivotal moment, the balance between progress and preservation is more crucial than ever. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. I believe we're on episode number 15. Um, so I have missed a couple days of uploading. My apologies. I'm trying to be back on track. Uh, so I think starting Monday, we should be on track with uh, staying typical to our upload schedule. Um, I think what I might do is I'm not going to do a upload schedule as in terms of 11 o'clock. I'm, I'm just going to I'm going to aim for 11. But if it comes out late, it comes out late. I'm not really going to uh, hold myself to a timeline, um, but I'm just going to hold myself to at least a video a day and earlier in the morning when it comes out. So that's the plan. Anyways. Um, some of the things that were going on is um, garbage container overflowing uh, in, in some of these places. Uh, and that's just primarily due to the fact that um, my, my dump over here is actually full. So something I did off camera, just did one quick thing, is I did add a new dump. Um, it's relatively close to town, but I think it's still far enough away. But it is in between uh, these two stations. So it, uh, it should be fine. I mean, the trucks are going to move slower on it just because... It, uh, it is right out of town and uh, it's on dirt roads. It's not on the typical gravel roads that we have, but uh, I think that is a okay. Um, I wanna make sure, yeah, they're still getting it from the right locations and we're, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, some stuff is actually sitting and that's because we're just not using gravel much. But I'm hoping that once this gravel is up and running, we can really get rid of um, that distribution office because we won't need dumpers, they'll just We'll just set this and designate it to where they go and we can set this to be uh to be gravel roads and then the rest can just be feed dirt i'm not too concerned about it and then the the trucks can actually move quickly once they get into town and uh not really block up anything uh that doesn't need blocking so uh one of the other things too that i wanted to look at doing today is there is a concern about the amount of doctors that we have and who can actually get service from the doctors because that's one of the things unable to visit a hospital um, 3.7%, 35 people, but unable to get clothes is another one that I just don't understand and unable to enjoy culture. I mean, that'll be fixed once, um, once we get this up and running, um, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll get underway. So I'm not too worried about that one. The one I am worried about is like the, the clothes. I mean, there's, there's definitely enough clothes in here, um, where they shouldn't have an issue of getting clothes. But, because even too, like, the passenger's waiting, like, they should move on to go get clothes um, from these two different bus stops in town. And plus, we have a bus that's transporting workers. Maybe that's something that we should look at, is in case they can't um, get clothes at the, the initial stop. Um, we should rename this, actually, this bus stop. What? Maybe we'll name it the... Uh, uh, Oh, I don't want to name it Bravel Slav. I know it's in Bravel Slav. I'm gonna name it the um the 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 Grand the Grand Ish Station. Uh, it's it's not quite grandioso, but it's the Grand Ish Station. It's Ish. Um, I'm actually gonna load up passengers that can load up here, uh, and maybe I'll also. Well, I don't really need to load students up because I think they can all reach. But maybe just in case they can't, we'll we'll load up students as well. 
uh, and and we'll change that and we'll still force them to get off of that line because it is a it is a transfer line it's not just keep riding in a circle so i'll actually load it up so that um, passengers can get onto the bus stop there and uh, be able to move themselves uh, accordingly uh, one other thing too that we might have to look at is um well not not look at this i mean this will i'm hoping eventually get cleared up um but uh look at um fuel i mean we only have one uh fuel cistern running around trying to keep everything uh operational which i mean probably not the most ideal i feel like things will start running out of gas um if we take a look at our gas station that we have i mean actually it's staying pretty full so if they do run out of gas i'm sure in their internal workings they'll just uh, head over to a gas station and fill up there so i guess i'm not too worried about it but um yeah we have to wait for this high voltage wire to finish because it's running both of these have to finish because uh, they're bringing over the electricity here and then this substation we're actually pulling electricity off of this sub uh, so we do have to wait um, before we can actually get our um, oil operation up and running. So something that I wanted to do um, is get up and operational. I know we said, well, actually, last episode we had 2,000 citizens. Now we're down to, like, none. <laughs> um, but something that I want to look to do, and I want to make sure that uh, it's actually going to work... <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a, a crucial thing is to make sure that it works. But um, I want to be able to get more houses in here. The only issue that I think I have is while this bus stop is in walking distance, this stuff will be in walking distance of, of um, one of these grocery stores. But I don't believe, yeah, because to get over, to get over from the sports hall, it is already like a... 400 ish meter walk so i'm not too sure if they're going to actually be able to make their way over here um or from this bus stop yeah this bus stop can't really access much but we do have an inner bus stop that would make it so they can access almost everything that they need and i think we have enough buses because this thing stays at zero i mean it doesn't really fill up um and then they'll wait here to go back now, on this line, one thing I want to take a look at is at Gary Station, we are telling them to just to get off. And then they can't, uh, they can't come back. Can I load? Can I load that and just not load highly educated? Um, but we'll load passengers. Well, you know, maybe we will, because it's, it's an inner city line. So... I think if they don't need to get on, they won't get on. But if they do, they will. So if we just load, let's just say, yeah, whatever. Let's load everybody uh, here. And then we'll tell them to get off. But they can also, yeah, because they will tell them to unload. But then they'll load as well. So I think that'll offer more of like an inner city bus line. So that if they need to come over here, they can. But so like... If they did shopping over here, they'll just still come home. But I feel like after them shopping, they just kind of poof out of existence and they go back home. Um, but I mean, we'll I guess we'll kind of see. There was another mention too that we don't need to we didn't need to make a fountain, but hey, I wanted a fountain. I'm gonna have my damn fountain. So <laughs> I have my damn fountain. Um Yeah, so we're just we're waiting on this uh this medium voltage wire. Uh, it should be able to support everything. We're also still waiting on uh, the gravel over here to finish uh, so that we can uh, chunk out this. Obviously, some stuff, everything that I've kind of mentioned has been mentioned in previous episodes. Uh, so what I wanted to do today and um, is I wanted to start a larger housing project um, just because when we decide to do coal, so something that was also mentioned um, by Asian I believe that was his name. Um, I know your avatar. I just can't remember your name. Um, every single time I begin recording, I just blank on it. But uh, we can do our coal over here, our coal processing. Um, so we can process it and uh, make it into uh, ore. So take the take the uh, ore and then make it into coal. We can do that over here. Uh, and I think, I think we're close enough to just, you know, we might have to make this into gravel. Uh, all of this coming through and out, but I do believe they are close enough 
um, for a five hour bus ride out here that we can do our coal over here. Uh, just the only thing is, is we definitely are going to need more, um, more citizens because we're at 0%. Dude, and, do you know where play zero percent so we are really hitting the max like we're brimmed out here um so we do need to bring in more citizens i did want to take a look at our overview here though and i wanted to see if there are any open um flats so this flat has 94 yeah so we did have kind of a larger death wave uh and what i think i actually might do because this is right by the school is i'm gonna hire a bunch from the third world Obviously, we need them to graduate quickly. Um, I think I might fill this one back up. I should do third world. Uh, I'll do third world on this one. Yeah, a lot of people did perish. So I'm um, trying not to spend an absurd amount of money. Uh, but I do want to get our workforce a little bit back. So 10%, um, but still only 2% due to no workplace. So... Yeah, we do have a lot of open flats. Um, I'm just going to kind of top these ones off with uh, immigrants. I know that the school is going to get full, but we do have a lot of teachers. I think that's one of the things that we do have a lot of is highly educated workers. 166. So we should be okay to, I'm going to say, support all of this. I will leave a couple flats open just in case I need to hire some workers. Uh, but primarily, I'm going to fill the ones that are under 10. Um, but then I'll, I'll leave enough space for more. So like these, I'll leave these all open. Uh, that's fine. Obviously, we're having a bit of a death wave. Because um, I think... Uh, how many are elderly? Uh, it doesn't tell you how many are elderly. Does it tell you in here? Does it tell you in here? I mean, it gives me the very basic. Average lifespan is 47, really? Pollution. What pollution? Whoa, what's... Average life is 47 due to pollution. What did we place down that generates pollution? Um, yeah, what do we place down that causes pollution? Hold on. How do I check pollution? I don't... What is... We were never having a pollution issue. The only few people can't visit. Our lifespan is super low. Yeah, where... 108 of them are in here. Wow. How do we... What did I place down in previous episodes that could have caused this massive pollution? I really... I, I really don't know. I didn't... Because everything out here was fine previously. But now there's a bunch of people getting hit with pollution, which is not good. Because does any of this oil stuff cause pollution? Uh, so I need to look at, um, not here, here, storage. So the storage does not provide pollution. Does the jack? Wow, it does. Okay, that's the difference. This jack is providing pollution. Really? So I can't jack that close. So I would have to go down here. Wow, I didn't even... I didn't realize that that... That jacks would cause pollution like that. Dude, how far away is this jack? Uh, that's the this is was empty, so this is four hundred and twenty-eight. Is that really not far enough away? Really? 
Okay. Um, yeah, so... Pollution. I mean, this is... Alright, I guess... Ah, okay. Alright, um, well, at least we figured that out. Let's... That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, we have to delete all of this. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, it looks like, um... Our trucks are going to be busy for a while because apparently this is causing pollution and it's going to kill us. Can I not get rid of these wires? Okay, well, that wire needs to stay. This wire needs to go. Uh, I need to put this road back. Okay. Now... We can probably leave the storage unit or the storage here. But all that needs to go. So now I'm wondering because this is just we're destroying it. Um, I am. I believe that I need to grab the this demolition office. Yeah. Okay, they, they queued it up themselves. Okay. Um, I believe that should stop the pollution. I mean, that's really... That's just really unfortunate that it's it's causing pollution. No one lives at the hospital. No one get clothes. No one enjoy crime. And that's declining fast. No one lives at the hospital 70. Well, it's probably due to the fact that there's so much pollution... Um, but also, we have, like, no doctors again. 12. 12%. I mean, they should be full. Uh, working shift. Two. One. Two. Yeah, I'm trying to leave this high so that we get enough students, but... This, uh, this might cause some issues here. Well, if that... Okay. Wow. It's like a death spiral right now. Okay. Pollution. We'll see if that goes away because that's not good that they only live to the average... The, the ripe age of 47. That, that's really not good. So, they'll start deconstructing all this. Lesson learned. Um, jacks do actually provide pollution. So, maybe we could place it out here. I know there was a uh, space for a jack here. And it looks like we can get about 80... So, I'm thinking if we did 82, obviously it's not the most ideal. 82, run. Yeah, I think we'll run a line like that. I mean, that's ugly. That's hideous. I mean, there's going to need to be a train going through here, but we can delete it after because we just need electricity here. Um, does this have access to electricity? No. Okay, so we're going to need to build another electrical substation. Um, actually, wow, that one. Okay, that one actually will connect and supply all of that. Where's the closest transformer? Look at that just wild, wild mess. Okay, that's the closest transformer. There's another spot open and I think what I'll do to make it so it's not like super long, see how far, okay, so I can get it to about here. Uh, I'll probably put it right there and then what we'll do is we will run a underground, oh, I don't have a connection there. Oh, isn't that just lovely? All right, so we'll run there, uh, there, there, and then there. Okay. <laughs> A little bit of spaghetti. Um, yeah, so, so we'll run it like that. Uh, build all this, build all that. And then, I mean, this is now 
This is just like, it's not going to be used. I guess lessons are learned, right? But man, um, kind of sucks. So what I think, <laughs> what I think then now that we have learned um, something very valuable, life lessons, lessons learned, is I think we can place this here. Um, and hey, I'm, I'm following everyone's directions now because we're gonna place this here. We're gonna run that like this. And I think this is still within range to reach. Just let me double check. Oh my God. It's just like just out of range. Oh, if I flip it though, hold on. I flip this around. It sh it should be it should be able to reach. I just need to mirror it and go like that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Now now it should be able to reach. Um. I am kind of bummed out about this whole this whole process because obviously. Obviously, we were very close to having this kind of all up and operational last episode. I guess just didn't realize that um, this this caused pollution. So now we're at a we're at a point where uh, we have to demolish it and hope and pray that um, the pollution numbers go down. I think it takes about a twenty day cycle before it refreshes. So. I mean, I guess we'll see. Um, I'm not loving that uh, we have so many patients waiting to see doctors, um, which is because we have such a low percentage of people working. Uh, we have 12% with high education, but this takes 10, 20, 30. This takes 30. Uh, I mean, we're just missing judges. Like, we just apparently can't fill judges here. Where, you, where can you reach? I mean, you can reach the hospital down there. You can't reach the one up there, but you can reach this bus stop to then be able to make a transfer to where you need to work. I mean, we shouldn't have only two doctors. What's, what is sponging up? Oh, you're probably sponging up. Okay, decrease that to four. Decrease that to four. Yeah, that is... I only want 10. What was it for 10? Okay, you know, I'll do 10 there and I'll do 10 here. That makes it eight. That makes it two. Okay. That was, I didn't even realize that that was, that was sucking up a lot of our resources. Look at all the people waiting for treatment. Okay. Well, I, th I think lifespan's going up. That's good. I think the pollution's going down. Um, so this should level out. People should be able to see doctors now because I think I fixed the issue where they're um, all in here for some reason. Um, so this should be fine. Doctors should be back on track. Happiness is going to take a tank. I'm not too worried about happiness. I'm just worried that they can't. I just don't want them to die. They just cannot pass away. Like 32. And it's all because of this. Okay. I think we'll be able to weather the storm. Um... Can this store more? Can this store explosives? <laughs> um, actually, can this one store explosives? 40, 40, 10, 10. Can I knock this? So... 40... And I don't need alcohol, actually, in here. Because it's getting it from the other one. 40, 40... Um, 10, and then... we do 5? What's left? 5? we do... 45 then. Okay. Um, and then who, who are, who's delivering you? Okay. And then can I tell you then to, uh, load explosives and then I think it's, it's this one. Yeah. And then can you unload explosives? Okay. And then. Can you how do i tell you to use explosives because i think if we can just use explosives on this one um ah, here we go use explosives i think this will be 
I know we're not going to get it back, but... And this one hasn't been built. I'm going to use explosives on it too, though. Um, I think because if I use explosives, obviously I'm not going to get the stuff back out of it that I want. But it's going to speed up the pollution problem. Which is causing us a lot of heartache. Um, and... Man, we don't have to deal with it. Let's just take... Let's take a quick look. Yeah, there's garbage filling up. Overflowed. A lot of students. Um, but... Your container's overflowed. Do you not have anybody coming? Why are you guys not servicing? You have a dump. waste huh water dump hazardous waste mixed waste why is it still saying that's your one for mixed waste I told you go over here oh man all right now they're off and to the races. Oh my god. Alright, that that should be fixed now. Okay, this is Wow, it's like you uh you take one second and you think things are gonna go well, and then all of a sudden you just get slapped in the face by workers and resources and tells you no, um, we're doing it my way and you've been doing it wrong, so you know, get bent. I don't know. <laughs> It's, it seems crazy to me. Anyways, um, so we're back up to 2,000. Our population is needing to go to school. We're kind of maxed out on our school here. Um, but we do want to make sure that the, these are filled. Yeah, these are just full just because of the pollution problem. Um, but he's going to bring resources here. Do, does he have explosives? Did you grab explosives? I think we have, we have none. Um, is there a truck on its way? You're bringing explosives, okay. And apparently you are as well. Oh, you are very close, okay. Then do I have to tell, tell, tell the demolition office to pick up? Missing covered trucks for equipment. Okay, I mean, I can fix that. Where's a covered truck? Any sit in covered halls? No? Yes? You are all sitting. Why are you all sitting? No resource. Missing fabric. You can... We cannot store export mixed waste. Ah, these have filled up because the trucks stopped moving. All right, well, they're gonna dump. They'll be on their way back, hopefully to resolve this pileup issue. Um, doesn't seem we have any free covered hauls, so I'm gonna purchase a new vehicle. I'm gonna purchase a covered haul. Uh, I'll probably just purchase the cheapest one, which is this guy. So come on in. Uh, and then he will grab the explosives needed. Uh, and he'll blow shit up. That would be perfect, thank you. All right, so they're back on track with actually gathering garbage. This thing's going to fill up quickly. I think we need a more permanent solution. Um, and I feel like we're just running back and forth again for this whole situation. Um, okay, this... I don't know why this isn't finishing. This needs more workers. Looks like bottleneck is our workers. So maybe if we... I have, like, no buses here. Who has buses? You have no buses. You have no buses. You have no buses. You have two buses. You have the big buses too. Okay. Well, it's just because the it's just full. A lot of people trying to go to the customs house and causing issues. Anyways, okay. All right. Well, um, I think we're sitting a lot uh better um once this goes away the unable to get clothes i mean it's just it's honestly beyond me i i don't know because 
I mean, I might have to go look at a back save, but, but all these people, like every single person here, like, uh, they can reach, they can reach these back houses can reach. Oh, actually, wait, oh, no, he can reach. He has a pathway. You can reach, uh, you can reach yeah, everyone back here can reach. They can all reach. And then I'm not worried because these ones up here, they can reach as well. But maybe if we check our overlays, so even here, access to goods, their access to clothes, they can all reach. So that shouldn't be an issue. Clothing quality. I mean, they're all maxed out at clothes. Maybe it's just because of the new people that got brought in. I don't know. Um, while we are just, you know, we're just burning through cash. Mixed waste. Yeah, it's just crazy how they just kind of like shut down due to mixed waste. There's also hazardous waste that's filling up, which we're going to have to deal with somehow. Um, and we currently don't have a place where we're storing. I mean, I think they're actually exporting it, so that should, that should be fine. Yeah, I think. Biological waste, yeah. Hazard waste, I think we need to look at. Yeah, it's all going to the custom house, so we're good. We're storing a bunch of garbage everywhere, but I think we're good there. So anyways. The project at hand... Um, looks like... Why are you... Oh my god, dude. Why are you getting... Go home. Can I, can I send, send back to workplace? Can, okay, good. Can how do I tell you? Ah, okay. Sorry. Okay, get your explosives from there, dude. And then, do I need to add? Oh, there it goes. Paused. All right, perfect. Now he shouldn't be waiting. He should be grabbing them from here and he should be blowing it up so that we get rid of this pollution. Because if it's blown up, it's not going to pollute us anymore. And I think we're still, we're still being hit by the effects. So I want him to do that. But um, I feel like it's just been a bunch of rambling today. Let me know if you guys enjoy seeing that, uh, that type of stuff. Um, or if you would like me to resolve the issue and then just come back once it's uh, once it's resolved, and, and let me know what you think, because um, obviously I'm, I'm open to either or. Um, not a full. I don't have a full preference on the way we do it. Okay, there we go. Now everybody's going to yield and let the roundabout do its thing. Okay. I've actually never seen uh, something get blown up by C4. So, or explosives, not C4, explosives. So I'm going to, I'm going to watch. Oh, I meant to delete that. Yeah, obviously it would finish. Oh, that's just so annoying. Um, Okay. Let's just, just dismantle all that. Yeah, let's blow that thing to Timbuktu. And let's blow that one to Timbuktu. And then the pollution issue should go away very slowly. Uh, but it's going to go away. So, I mean, overall, it's good. I'm just trying to find here it is. Uh, this is starting to back up, but... Uh, sewage filling 5%, sewage pollution 52. Yeah, we're still okay, I think, on the sewage the sewage front. Anyway, so we only have a couple more minutes left. This episode just fly, flew by um, as we're trying to ensure that uh, everyone doesn't die from this uh, accidental pollution problem. I didn't realize that pumps actually had uh, pollution to them, but I guess it makes sense, and I should have been a little bit more um, mindful of it. Um, 
but uh, that's okay. And we've kind of just abandoned these projects, I think, because they're, they're trying to prioritize other projects, but uh, this has a crane on site. This has a crane. Yeah, they're just waiting for workers, so uh, I think that's fine. So anyways, um, really, I really wanted to actually get something done this episode, but I feel like we just, just going backwards, we destroyed some stuff. Uh, but we never actually got anything up and running. So, uh, can we... That needs to be constructed and doesn't literally have any gravel. Two days of construction's worth and then it's up and running. Um, yeah, this I'm hoping can go away uh, shortly. I mean, our lifespan's going up. Uh, things are kind of going back to normal. I didn't... I don't think we've... I don't think we've killed the Republic. I think we can keep season three go or season two going. Um, and that is, that is wonderful. Uh, eventually we'll dismantle that. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, please don't tell me these trains actually cause, let me actually check. They don't cause pollution, right? <laughs> uh, platform. No, they shouldn't. Cause this is a, this is a pickup platform, maybe noise pollution, but I don't think that's a, it counted into this game. So um, yeah, that, that was a lot of standing around and, and, and doing a little bit of nothing, but we wanted to build a housing complex to allow ourselves to open up more workers, uh, so that maybe the whole pollution thing was really causing this to fluctuate and be bad because only 10 people are able to get closed now. So maybe it might be resolved. Anyways. We want to build a housing complex in here. Uh, and I don't think I want to time lapse it. I think I do want to build it. Obviously, it's going to have to come off of here. And I think we can probably pull a road uh, off of here. I think I'd probably do a roundabout. So let's start. Um, let's start that with. Yeah, let's do. Uh, obviously, they can't get over here for a second. So let's pause it. I just want to add in a quick roundabout here. I think I'll probably do 120. Keep it tiny. Uh, fill it in and then we'll do, yeah, we'll do something like this. Um, just to allow them obviously to continue uh, what they were doing before I just rudely took it away. We'll do that. Okay, so now they can go back uh, to their demolition process. Okay, this is all done. That one's gone. Thank goodness. Let's uh, delete that. So that's all done up there. We can we can delete this road. All done. That's all done. I mean, explosives work wonders. Wow. Probably expensive, though. Minus $24. I mean, that's okay. Is this working again? This is operational again. Is this oper- This is- Hey, it's all working again. I think they're finally picked up everything. Pollution should be going down. Lifespan's going up. All right. Crisis averted. And it only took us 36 whole minutes to avert that crisis. Oh, workers and resources. I do love you. All right. Anyways, so let's take a look here. So obviously we still only have the typical bricks. It says 68 quality. Uh, obviously the stuff that we don't have does offer higher quality, um, but that means you know we don't have it. But to get it, um, we would have to go um, through concentrated utilized studies, which is through our technical university. We have that, so it can give us better flats. But I think currently until that point, um, we need to continue building. I'm I'm gonna say these these flats, uh, these big ones, just so we can get more citizens moved in. Uh, obviously, it's 80 tons of bricks, but only 14 tons of steel. Um, and we we do have our own bricks, so we're not gonna have to rely on um, importation of bricks. So, um, what we want to do here, and I I don't. I, don't, I, I, I really do want to kind of like use some walls and, and make it kind of like something unique and special. Um, but I, I just, I don't think we're necessarily there yet. So I don't want to 
use up all of our resources in um lackadaisical is lackadaisical the right word to use i don't think lackadaisical is the correct term um stupid <laughs> stupid reasons maybe that might be a better better terminology but anyways so yeah we want to build this all up um it's probably going to cost us a pretty penny but um the, the goal is to kind of think kind of block in um block in the train tracks so they kind of run through the city a little bit um not completely fully oh i think i just had a quick save there um and i think what we want to do is do we want to run it through the back to this maybe we maybe we do that maybe we run it through the back like so and that should get this guy yeah so he's able to walk he's able to walk and there to walk that's good that's perfect and then we'll also work on attaching we yeah we can okay so we can get that we can get some spaghetti noodle um, so now they should be able to walk. Yeah, they'll be able to get to this train platform, and then they'll also be able to get to this bus platform. So if they have to go anywhere in the city, they can. Um, not exactly sure. Do these have power, heat, water, no sewage? So we do need to build another sewage outlet here. Um, I just, I don't know if uh, sewage tank. Do we have, we have a switch there. I don't know if we have another switch. So I think, I think the plan best be, where is our, I think our other tanks just, yeah, it's just quite far. So I think what we might actually look to do is building this somewhat like that because then we can at least start on this project right away um but i also want another sewage switch so that i can go from this switch to that switch um relatively seamlessly and i think what i'll do and actually because nobody needs to walk on these so this will just get everything built up quicker. Build that, build that. So that's that switch, that's that. Now we just have to make sure, and I'll just do a, I'm gonna do a small one. So this does not have the required slope. So let's just double check. So this is eight and this is nine. What about this one over here? This is 12. Okay, it's cause we're probably getting closer to there. Um, yeah, because all of this is fairly high. This is low. Um, so what we, is there a way to raise or it's only to lower? Yeah, it's only a lower five meters. Hmm. Because we, we, we can lower it, but then we have to bring it back up and we just can't do that. So I'm thinking what might need to happen instead um, is we're going to have to actually um, anything else trying to be deleted? No. So what we might need to do is we might actually need to build it into here because obviously now we're, we're low again. We can't move it back that way unless um Cause this is this is 12 like this is high contour line because this is very high this is very it's getting very low until it bottoms out because obviously this one bottoms out so what we could do is we could build another one in here and then this would service this side of the city um i don't think it produces pollution uh, no, it just discharges waste, and I don't think that's a huge concern. I mean, if it is a huge concern, we can place it over here, because I think our housing complex 
is going to kind of do in this area, and then we're going to kind of finish it up. So let's look to build another sewage. Uh, right along here. Actually, maybe we could build it along here because obviously like... And then if we do that, then we can just actually feed a direct line. Then we don't need... We don't need a sewage truck. Uh, and then that could also feed there. So maybe let's actually do that. Let's try to get it placed in here. If we can... Oh, man. Sometimes placing these is really funky. I wish it was a little easier because obviously it's saying that is water. So what we might have to do is... Um, uh, can I smooth the terrain? Terrain smooth. Need to be playing. I not allowed to. Oh, here we go. Okay. Will that do it? Now, can I build it, please? Yep. Okay. So I think we'll do something. I want to flip it, and we'll do something like this. Uh, just do a dirt path uh, like that, and then we'll queue this up. So now this is super low. Uh, and I think we will... Can I place it right in here, actually? The sewage? I don't want... That, and then... Yeah, okay. Something like that. Because I obviously, I don't... I don't care. What are they doing? Bunch of weirdos. Um, oh, are they going to work here? Just put it down. 2%. Anyways, and then... Because now this is all going to be downhill. Right? Um, maybe I'll put a switch. Put a switch up here so it can still go down. Um, and maybe I will build the switch here. Do something like... Do something like that. And then run a large tube in there and then we'll run, maybe I'll have another switch. I have another switch here. So I can go small. You'll have it like right here. Yeah, we'll do right there. Um, so I can do small from here to here. And then a medium from here to here. And then we just need the walking path there. And I think that'll be... That'll be just fine. Okay. So now that'll be built up before we even start building this. Because um, obviously they still... Still quite a little... Quite a lot of construction to do. Um, but I'm hoping to get this uh, up and running. Uh, I'm hoping that our pollution... Okay, our pollution is way, way down now. So we shouldn't have people just dying. Um, but we are running low. Okay. So, now that this is a lot more settled, I want to take a look at our free flats. So we still have quite a few free flats. This one just only has one. So I'm going to hire one in... We are losing a bit of money. I'm going to hire more from the Soviet block. Obviously, obviously this is replacing our numbers that we lost um, due to the due to the tragic, tragic st storm that we had to weather. Uh, I'm kind of trying to fill this appropriately and spending the extra on the third world. Oh, that should have... Actually, that's fine that way, too. Uh, so now we're full, except for this one. And we did get that built. So I'm going to allow citizens to move in. We did bolster a number back up. We're bolstering this number back up. We did have to spend quite a fair bit of money to get that to happen. But I'm hoping that we don't run into that issue again. 
And I'm hoping that this will help sort out any issues that might arise. Um, you're trying to deliver clothes. You're trying to pick up props. You're trying to pick up food. What are you trying to pick up? Coal, coal, and more coal. All right. And you're trying to get workers. So what is our causing? Okay. These guys are still trying to do that. He's trying to load up. He's trying to get concrete. Okay. So yeah, that border house is getting quite plastered. There's just no other border house close by. I mean, other than this guy, but this guy's far. He's, he's, he's kind of far away. All right. So that's all coming back up. That's all coming back up. Okay. So we definitely weathered the storm. Uh, now I just want to keep planning. So this is a lot of like high, high residential, uh, high capacity. And it is kind of far away from my core stuff. Um, but the best part is that if they get to here, they can reach, they can reach the doctors. There will be a hospital here, uh, but they can reach the cinema. Um, they can kind of reach primarily everything that they would relatively need. Um, I'm surprised that they can't reach, I'm surprised they can't reach the school. Is that just because there's no, can I put it's all out of the front. There's a lot of people waiting. <laughs> um, anyways, so if they can't reach, they'll go to they'll they'll take the bus to this stop, uh, like most people are, and then they'll kind of wait to go to work. So I think that's I think it's fine the way it is, um, because they can they can go there and then they can walk to here and then they can get taken wherever. And then obviously the train. I'm hoping the train can drop them off on that side as well. Um, but, but we're looking a little bit more stable and sturdy. So let's see if we can finish out this, um, new complex. I'm kind of debating if I really do want this one running out this far. Uh, I don't think I actually do. So let's, let's quickly delete what we had. Um, I kind of, I kind of don't want it the way it is. I think actually the way that I want to do this um, is I want to have a little bit of, I don't want to make a penis, but, um, I do, it's obviously that it can all reach. So I do want to do something like this and then flip this one. So it's a bit back to back like, so, uh, I want to leave this open so we can run a road. I think then this one. I will place it closer to the tracks. Um, maybe what I'll actually do is I'll actually place it like this and then back to back again. Like so. Um, and then maybe go. Distance happiness is too low. You never popped up to tell me that when they were getting killed by pollution, but now you want to tell me. So we'll do something like this. Uh, and then we'll run, uh, I'm going to run this, go like this, and then I'll run straight and then we'll end it like so. And then this one can run in like that. Uh, I think I'll do something like this and like this. Okay. Now they should all still be able to reach. Oh, right, because we didn't add that. So do something like this curve and then curve back. So they should now all be able to reach there, except for these ones, because I forgot. So and like so. Okay, now they should all be able to reach. Yes, perfect. So they can all can reach here and then that means they can reach here. And then that means that they can go into town which is what we need. And this doesn't stay full for long because the bus has pretty much picked them up and forced them off and then they get picked up and they go off at wherever they got to go. So this is going to be a big complex. They do have power. They do have heat. They do have that and that. So they have everything that they would need. The only thing that I do want to look to place in here is I want to make sure that they do have enough uh, garbage collection. So this is the walking one. This is a large or small. I think we'll do something like, I think like this would be good. Um, just cause obviously I don't want them to 
fill up quickly and I think yeah this this touches all of them uh, so that's good so that type of garbage collection uh, is great uh, I kind of did want to like build in like uh, a cool like wall and have a fence here maybe that's something in the future we can do like build a fence so that nobody like jumps on the tracks and you know dies um, but hmm, yeah you know down down the road down the future so this this will give us about um, well, 153 and then six and then so 750 uh, and the coal itself will take where, where's the coal again uh, the, the coal mine itself would take two four six uh two four six six hundred and sixty so this is pretty much this is pretty much supplementing the coal uh obviously we we need to figure out a way to get them over there uh because i think that's actually out of the five hour radius honestly this one might even be closer for those houses um but this one might be closer i think this one actually is closer because it's definitely closer to this this bus stop so yeah we'll do it over there um hopefully it's enough time for them to get there we might have to make like a transfer station to reset their clock um but uh we'll, we'll see if they can make it if not we'll just we'll do something like that where it resets their clock so other than that i think we have all the essential amenities in there that they need to get this uh up and operational and running don't want to queue up that yet uh, but i definitely want to get this queued up but hi right, high priority thank you uh so yeah I think that does it for today's episode, though. Um, I know we didn't get a lot done this episode. I'm hoping to get a lot more done in future episodes and kind of uh, be able to uh, understand and know a little bit more what's going on and um, kind of how to do it. But uh, I think next episode, we might look to tackle the farming situation because obviously, as we've been building this episode, uh, these silos have been going up. Once those silos are up, I think this is all going to just become farmland. Uh, so we'll have that and then obviously the city is going to be built over here the bigger one obviously this is just our probably starter town um i am hoping that we can start to offset some of these costs because it looks like we might have to already take out another loan soon um not really what i wanted to do but you know it is it is what it is uh sometimes it has to sometimes it has to roll that way uh hopefully the school gets figured out and people graduate quickly um, hopefully we get some more highly educated workers so that we can do a little bit more fun and uh, keep expanding. Uh, but this is going to be the start of the housing development. Um, we do have room to add on the back here. We also have room to uh, run a road. We can run a road through here because obviously we made this roundabout. So I think what I actually to do to finish off the episode is I'm going to actually run uh, at least the startings of a road. Uh, around and through because obviously I don't want I don't want to get stuck where I want to run a road through and I forget so I'm going to run this road through so it gives me a lot of room over here to actually grow and expand everything uh, but we do have to make sure we're running it off of this vein or this vein um, or actually we could probably connect here and they could probably walk that distance or even if we bring it uh, behind and through here they should be able to do that but anyways that does it for today's episode. Thank you everyone for watching. If you did like the episode, make sure to hit that like button. Um, make sure to subscribe because it helps me, helps me keep going and just kind of gets me more recognized on YouTube. Uh, and also leave a comment even for the sake of engagement. Um, no comments, a bad comment. If you didn't like the video, you can comment. If you did like the video, you can comment. If you just wanted to say hi, I'll probably say hi back. So leave a comment and um, yeah, that's all today. Um, Thanks everyone again for joining me on another episode and I will see everybody tomorrow. Take care.